Hello guys, this is Rich Rich TV and welcome back to my channel. But before we start the devotion guys, I would like to shout out the following first of our channel na punta rito at nag-join sa devotion natin the other night. Shout out and God bless to Marabuti TV, Puspas Kitchen, Michael Aburita, Crisel Aburita, Yangs TV, Emily Mansalai, Richard Salai Blog, Drivey P.O.B., It's Mami Rose, Samutsari Blog, Heart Ponsalan, Kim Chu, Mama Susan YT, Pamilya Lagan Channel, CAMB TV, I Kim Rosita, Jackie Val Abejo, and Vivilin Generale. Guys, kumusta nga pala yung pag-celebrate natin ng Valentine's Day or tinatawag na Love Day? Actually, every day is a love day for God, no? Sana we celebrated it with our loved ones, particularly to our family members. Guys, we love because God first loved us. Okay guys, let's now proceed to our uh, devotional. Let's open the Bible to Psalm 16, the whole chapter of Psalm 16. Okay, still guys, I'm using the devotional study Bible because the words you see is simplified na maintindihan talaga natin. Okay, the word of the Lord says, Keep me safe, O God, for in you I take refuse. I said to the Lord, You are my Lord. Apart from you, I have no good things. As for the saints who are in the land, they are the glorious ones in whom, in all my delights, the sorrow of those will increase who run after other gods. I will not pour out their li liberation of blood or take up their names on my lips. Lord, you have assigned me my portion and my cup. You have made me you have made my lot secure. The boundary lines have fallen for me in pleasant places. Surely I have delightful inheritance. I will praise the Lord who counsels me. Even at night, my heart instructs me. I have set the Lord always before me because he is my right hand. I will not be shaken. Therefore, my heart is glad and my tongue rejoices. My body also will rest secure because you will not abandon me to the grave nor will you let your holy ones see decay you have made known to me the path of life you will fill me with joy in your presence with eternal pleasures at your right hand amen and amen i'm gonna no promise the lord guys no it uh, really suits to uh the ano natin ngayon, sa celebration natin sa Valentine's Day. Na? Okay, guys, let's now pray. Father, we thank you, dear God, that we always experience your love because we love, oh God, because you first love us. Thank you, dear God, for the love of our uh, family members, of our friends, and even to the people around us, oh God. Lord, even uh, we pray, oh, even, oh God, for the relationship that we have made before you. It will really grow. Uh, mas kaday, God, na ito mga Hindi ano, feeling nila na unlovable, may they also experience the love we have uh, for them, O Lord God. Lord, thank you that you embrace us so much because you love us first. We commit these things to you, God, and sir, pray. Amen and amen. Okay, guys, our focus verse for this evening is found in Psalm 16, 2, and it says, I say to the Lord, you are my Lord. Apart from you, I have no good things. So the title of our devotion for this evening, guys, is When Life is hard. Physically, mentally, and emotionally exhausted, I curled up in my recliner. Our family had followed God's leading and had moved from California to Wisconsin. After we arrived, our car broke down and left us without a vehicle for two months. Meanwhile, my husband limited mobility after an, an unexpected back surgery and my chronic pain complicated our unpacking. We uncovered costly problems with our new-to-us old home. Our senior dog suffered with health issues, and though our new pup brought great joy, raising a furry ball 
of energy was far more works than anticipated. My attitude soured. soured. How can I suppose to have unshakable faith while traveling on a bumpy road of hardship? As I prayed, God reminded me of the psalmist whose praise didn't depend on circumstances. David poured out his emotions, open with great vulnerability and so tributes in the presence of God. Acknowledging God as provider and protector, he praised him and followed his counsel. David affirmed that he would not be shaken because he kept his eyes always on the Lord. So he rejoiced and rested, secure in the joy of God's presence. We too can delight in knowing our peace didn't depend on our present situation. As we thank our unchanging God for who He is and always will be, His presence will fuel our steadfast faith. Amen and Amen. Yes, guys, no, sa relationship, and then, and, and talaga yan, no? Maski yung experience ng author na to na uh, the experience bumpy road, sa lahat natin, meron din ganyan, no? Meron din ganyan. Sometimes, uh, feeling natin, hindi tayo love ng mga love ones natin, but actually, uh, Andun yung love, hindi lang siguro na na-express masyado kasi nga uh, for us Filipinos, uh, parang we feel awkward if we express everything, no? Lalo-lalo na pag may edad na, yung, yung sabi nila, no? So, yun guys, no? Uh, like David, he really, ano, he did not go away from God. He always uh, showed his love to God and that, ano talaga, uh, God love uh, David so much. Kaya nga, binansagan siya na a man after God's own heart. no? Because of his service, his devotion sa kay God. Guys, sana ganun din tayo kasi nga, hindi natin ano, no? Our road is so bumpy. My, our life is so bumpy also. There are a lot of problems, but if we become closer to God, everything would just be fine. May, Lahat naman tayong tao talaga nagkakaproblema, no? Hindi natin masabi na, ah, yung, ano, yung problema ko mas malala pa kaysa sa iyo, no? We cannot say like that because uh, pinag-experience na ni Lord to experience that problem in order for us to become effective in giving advice to other people who suffered the same, di ba? Yun yung ano, interpretation ko, guys, no? Okay, let's now proceed to the two question, guys. How can offering God's praise for His unchanging character and wondrous work increase your faith during challenging circumstances? Uh, yes, no, sabi ko, uh, Lord, in this area, may I experience your faithfulness in providing me the, this need. Minsan, I thank God for the problem. Huh? Especially sa, yung sa, ano, sa pera. Sabi ko, Lord, thank you. I, I don't have money. Uh, I need money this time. But at this time, because I am in need, I can really experience your love by giving me the thing I need. Because we know na, ano talaga, God will really provide sa mga needs natin. Di ba? Okay. Second question. What situations do you need to place in God's trustworthy hands? Still, sa health ko, no, sa relationship ko with our people, and then, maski sa finances, no? And even, most of it, my relationship with God. No? Prayer ko, lagi na, Lord, let me go unto you, no? Uh, na I could spend time, a day, uh, an hour to have a Bible reading, devotional, and prayer. Kasi ang dami-dami talaga dapat ipag-pray. Kaya, let's spend time with God. Let's not focus on what is uh, earthly, but let's focus on what is heavenly. Okay guys, so let's now pray. Thanks for being you, Father. Thank you for the great help you have given us. Thank you for the great love you have given us. We love, oh God, because you first love us. Amen and amen. Happy birthday nga pala kay <clears throat> Mambing Alojado at saka kay Ma'am Love uh, Balakasi. No? Happy birthday sa inyong dalawa. No? And then, advance happy birthday na rin sa brother, uh, twin brother and sister ko na si Rudolph. No? Villa and Hiasmin Villa. And so with my two aunties, no, na nasa California, Auntie Bilen and Auntie Merle. 
Happy birthday sa inyo lahat. God bless us all guys because I know God will surely bless us 10 times better. This is again Rich Rich TV. Kita-kita tayo mulit hanggang sa muli. Paalam!